Hey guys, so here. Welcome back to nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Everything's starting to come together. Everything's starting to make sense. And thank you so much for the comment regarding the staff members of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. I completely forgot that the ninth man could have been one of them and he looked to be one, right? In that uh, picture that we got. Anyway, we just solved this riddle. It's time to go out of this library and find that Neptune key. It's beyond the store, I hope. All right, let's get this thing open. Beyond the forest of knowledge. Could Alice be in this room? I doubt it. I think she's in the other room. The one where we need the Neptune key. Alright. This is the next. Ah! Uh, the door! Great. Seven, you were supposed to put, like, something to block it like you always do. Did that just close on its own? Don't tell me we can't go back. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Mm. Uh, uh. Was it closed because someone controlled it, or closed because it was automatically supposed to? Damn it! It looks like it locks automatically. There we go. Is there any other way out? That would mean that uh, Santa didn't need to control it to close it. Well, if uh, he really there's another is door zero. over on the right. There's a card reader next to it. What's this? Looks like a bunch of equipment. Like, look, there's a bracelet that looks like a red. <sighs> it's got a red light on it, though, so I'm pretty sure it's locked, too. But there is a card reader, right? What is this, like the, the junk room? Yeah. Then perhaps if we find a key card, we could open the door and leave? Well, yeah, that might work, but... Uh, hey! Wait a minute! Are you saying we're gonna have to search through this room for one little card? Uh, we don't really have much of a choice. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> Looks that way. Jeez, so much stuff in here. Yeah, there's a there's a dead. No way. What was this his prep room? For real? Well, we can sit down and wait to die if that's what you prefer. Exactly. Snake's right. Let's go freaking find this key card. I rather doubt that, however. So it would be wise to start looking. We haven't much time. Let's find that key card. Oh, and the Neptune key as well. Mhm. Mm we won't be able to get through the hallway without it. <sighs> <sighs> All right, then. Let's begin. Thank you, Snake, for that pep talk. Jeez, can't wait to dissect this room. I guess it's a workshop? I wonder how many more rooms there are. I didn't think there'd be another escape room, but it's the true ending. Study. All right. I guess that's one word for it. There are piles of crap everywhere. Man, this place is a mess. It's so messy. I don't know where to start. Some of this crap looks familiar. I think a lot of these are parts of the puzzles we've solved in the other rooms. If that's true, then this room could be Zero's laboratory. Perhaps Zero would shut himself in this room to devise the machines and puzzles he'd need to see his plan come to fruition. Um, well, that's kind of what I deduced. Map. Right, this, is, this was in the captain's quarters, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, that's the same route. Hey Junpei, isn't this a nautical table? Yeah, I feel like I've seen this before. The material's been added to the file screen. Okay, we'll take it. What else have we got? Wow, this music. It's all funky. Look Junpei, the rust on here looks like Elvis's face. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how exciting. <laughs> I cannot see it. Clover, you must be dreaming. What's this? Can't click on it. The f these fans must be for ventilation. I can see walls on the other side of them. There are metal bars in front of the fan openings. I don't think we can get out that way. Computer? The keyboard. Let's just tap a few keys, see if we can wake this thing up. Damn. No dice. It's so small. I wonder what it is. I've got no idea. There are four indentations on the desk. I wonder if I'm supposed to put something into them. Looks like way to me. There are three monitors here. The power's on, but there's nothing on any of the screens. Okay. Actually, drawer. Nope, it's locked. Damn it. Looks like this thing's locked. It's not moving. Well, it's pretty obvious how we're supposed to open it. Really? I can't tell. Maybe a key? Or the indentations. Okay, what else have we got? What's this? This monitor is part of this machine. 
We're gonna need that nautical table. It's really dim though. It's got a map of the world on it, but I can barely see it. I suppose we just overlay the map, right? Uh... Okay, cool. It's not in my inventory, it's in my files. There's a panel on the side of the monitor that looks like it's covering something. Junpei, it looks like there's a compass on there. Oh, now I get it. What do you mean? I guess you weren't there, Clover, but I solved a puzzle like this one in the wheelhouse. I think I just need to do the same thing here. The same thing? The important part is this nautical table we just found. I just have to match up the directions on the compass with the lines on the nautical table. I used the steering wheel in the wheelhouse, but this time I think I'm going to use the wheel attached to the side here. Okay then, show me! Now! Of course. Calm down. Maybe I'll run through the instructions. This looks like it probably works the same way the steering wheel in the wheelhouse did. If I just touch the direction I want to turn it, I want it to turn to, the compass will turn in that direction. Then I just gotta press stop when the compass is pointing where I want it to. I'm betting something will happen if I can do it right. Alright, let's do this! Okay. So, I guess we start going east? No. Where do we begin? I suppose we start here. So, south. Then west. Then southeast. Then we've got northeast. Um, east. North. East. Awesome. Yay! You did it, Junpei! Good boy. Who's a good boy? Ugh, knock it off! <laughs> <laughs> Did she really give me, like, a, a nuggie? Hey, we don't have time for screwing around right now. Check out the right side of the monitor. Just kind of slid open, and something came out. Oh, yeah. Looks like it's one of those things I need to put in for the, for the disc. I heard a noise, too. You know that big box in the hall by the exit? I think it made a noise. Like something unlocking, you know? A noise, huh? Alright. Helm emblem. This is, like... Our greatest hits or something of the ship? Did she say a box, right? Was it... No. I was gonna say, was it that? What's this? There's something written on these pieces of paper. Looks like we've got three sheets of the stuff. Is it music? New material's been added to the file screen. Can't look at it right now. Now it's okay. Study nautical table. No, Morse code. Morse code chart. It was found on the steel shelf in the small cluttered room. It has a Morse code key for the letters A to I. The short mark is called DIT and made by tapping the button. The long mark is called DA and made by holding the button down. Okay, so we've got three. Okay, so this actually kind of relates to back to the wheelhouse, the captain's quarters, right? We use Morse code there for the telegram. Uh, the hell is this? Let's see what happens when I... Whoa. Well, now we've got something on the screen, at least. Huh? What is this? Oh, wait a minute. I saw something like this when I figured out that Morse code puzzle back in the communications office. Morse code? Yeah. The dots on here look like dits for Morse code. There's two dots on the first line, four on the second, and one on the last. Uh, I'm afraid I don't understand. Well, perhaps you should give it a shot anyway. Alright, I'll try. Before I do that, though, maybe I ought to run through the instructions. If I just tap the button, it'll enter a dit. If I hold the button down, it'll enter a da. Once we enter our answer, it'll automatically determine if it was the correct answer or not. I can also switch through the code sheets I've got by touching the three icons over on the right. Alright, let's do this. That's basically his catchphrase. Let's do this. Okay, so we've got two, four, then one, right? So we've got I. Am I just re re replicating what it was? 
cool. Now what? A dash? Oh, okay, there's more to it then. Reset. Back. Um, Alright, let's give it another shot. Before I do that though, to be able to run through the instructions, if I just tap the button, it'll enter a dit. If I hold the button down, it'll enter a da. Once we enter our answer, it'll automatically determine if it was the correct answer or not. I can also switch through the code sheets I've got by touching the three icons over on the right. Alright, let's do this. But what am I entering? That's the question. Alright, let's back out of it. Alright, let's give it another shot before I do that though. Okay, he's just repeating the instructions. I must need something else. Hmm. Might as well put one of these down. Let's just drop the emblem of the steering wheel in here. Whoa. Well, now we've got something on the monitors, at least. What's that? Looks like some kind of puzzle. I wonder if these are the rules. Here, I'll read them to you. When you touch a numbered area, that area will be selected, and it will turn blue to indicate this. Touching a numbered ball after selecting an area will cause that ball to be moved to that area. However, you cannot move the red balls. You can only move three to five balls into a single area. Press the check button once you've moved all of the balls, except for the red ones which you cannot move. The digital root of the balls in an area must match the number for that area. That's it. Uh, I still don't really get it. Whatever. Like they say, practice makes perfect prefix. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Don't you mean practice makes perfect? Hey, let's see you solve the next one, then you can make fun of me. <laughs> That's mean. Jubei is blind, obviously he can't see the numbers. Okay, so we need to make a digital root of six. We can't move the red balls. Or we can move everything else. There must be more than one then, because there's only one red ball, but they talked about it like it was a plural. And we need to move all of them? So six, we need to make uh, 15. Or 24. 8. Uh, 7, 4. And 3, we need to make 21 or 12. 6. Ah! 6, 9, 11, 12. Check. Okay, this is it, right? But. Nothing's happening. There are still three more indentations left empty. I imagine something will happen when they are all filled. Doesn't that seem likely? I guess we have to do one puzzle for each indentation that we fill in? In any case, let's keep exploring. What's this? The middle shutter looks pretty sturdy. It's framed with black and yellow warning stripes. Alright, let's open it. Oh, holy shit. Alice. Could it really be? That is pretty damn creepy. There's a coffin in there. A coffin. A coffin? Oh man. Does Seven think? Yeah. He's all pale. He's thinking the same thing I am. No way. Could this be? I'm sorry, but what's going on? It's a coffin. I wonder if there's a vampire in it. Nope, but there's a mummy. Right, I guess Clover and Snake don't know the story. Man, I can't bring myself to tell them. Well, at any rate, let's have a look around. Okay. Maybe that's what I need to transmit. All ice. Okay, let's try that. Right, let's give it another shot. Okay, we know the instructions. Uh, let's go... Uh, and then go L. Oh, L again, sorry. Oh. You can only put one. Is it? Or am I just going to continue with what I was writing? Let's do that. I... I don't think this is going to fit. Oh no, I could. Nope, nothing happened. Great. Thought I hacked it. Clearly, did not. 
Okay. Well, what else are we missing then? A lot of stuff going on in this room. A pipe. A pipe? A pipe. Okay. Thanks, guys. Very helpful. Ventilation fans. There are metal bars over the openings, though. We can't go through them. Already looked at the pipe. Got some cables. Pretty good cable management. Well done. Done that. It's back here. This is another one. There's a control panel panel in front of the big screen here. Wonder if any of these buttons do anything. Oh, there's something on the screen now. What's this? All, all. There are 15 cells here with numbers and letters in them. Let me see that. Guess we need to do our hexadecimals again. Oh, I see. So whenever you touch a cell, the ones next to it turn on or off. You just gotta use that to make the all cells on the right and the bottom green. Um... Hey Junpei, I found this piece of paper under that thing. You wanna take a look at it? Do you think this might have something to do with the puzzle? It's a piece of paper Clover gave me. There are a bunch of numbers and letters connected by equal signs on it. Just like she said, this is probably related to the puzzle on the screen somehow. Thanks, Clover. This really helps. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and try again. Anyway, it looks like I just need to make all of the cells all green. How do I turn them green? That's the question. Right. I guess I need to... Okay. This is gonna take some time. I need to basically uncover what these all are. Let me just quickly write it down. Okay, cool, sweet. So we've got D6. Oh, I should really just write them as numbers. So D is 13. 13, 6, 4. Then F is 15. 5. C is 12, B is going to be 11, 9 is 9, obviously, <laughs> and then 1, okay, 9, 12, 21, which is L, right, so we need this to equal 21 as well. Which is going to be 15 and 6. So I need to get rid of this B. Okay, so what are the combinations I need? So A is 10. So this is going to be 10. This is going to be 21. This is going to be 21. This is going to be 10. This is going to be 21. This is going to be 21. So I need all of the middle row lit up. I will need just the 9 lit up. There we go. I uh, will need 15 and 6, so I need this. Uh, there we go. And then I need all of this row lit up. Damn it. Yeah, I know what I need, it's how do I get there. Right, so we go... Like that. Uh, that's fine. If I do this, this is gonna get out of whack. Son of a bitch. Ugh. I feel like I'm just guessing right now. There's got to be a, a way to figure this out. Okay. Well, there you go. Got lucky. <laughs> you did it, Junpei. I'm just a genius. You're so smart. Yeah, this, isn't that what I just said? You seem to have done an excellent job and solved the puzzle. Just what I would have expected of you, Junpei. Hey, come on. You're embarrassing me. You know, I'm just a guy. 
college kid. Got a crush on a potential dead woman named Akane, you know. It's just life is strange sometimes. Whoa, whoa, don't get cocky, kid. We don't have time for that. Look at this. Alright, thank you, Seven, for bringing me back down to Earth. Check out the right edge of the control panel. The lids slid open, and something came out. Alright, oh, sorry. Got it. Cross emblem. For the addition that I did. Uh, I can see some sort of big machine on the other side of the, all this crap. Done that already. Oh, that's attached to the drafting table. I like that's attached to the drafting table. It's got this little metal arm that holds it up. <laughs> Thanks for the description. Um, okay, let's put in the emblem of the cross. Hey Junpei, something just showed up on the screen. This puzzle sure looks a lot like the last one. Yeah, but there's more of those red balls you can't move. The numbers for each area are different too. Looks like this has got the same rules as the last one though. You sure you don't want to double check that? No, I'll be fine. If I get confused, I can just look at the screen over there, right? Anyway, like they say, a picture is worth 1,000 wards. Let's give it a shot. Isn't that a picture is worth 1,000 words? Snake, I didn't see you do a puzzle. Hey, shut it. At least I'm trying, all right? <laughs> okay, one and seven. This time I can't use one or nine. So one, we need to get 10. Or we need to get uh, 19. No, not 19. We just need to get literally 10. It's the only way, isn't it? Okay, well then... Maybe 6 and 4? 7, we need to get uh, 25. So that's 15, 20, 23, 25. There you go. Oh. Why not? That's 15, 20, 22, 25. This is 1. Am I wrong? What? Okay, maybe I just need 16 then. It's not gonna work. That's also 25. Okay, I just got there using a different combination, I guess. Hmm. That's awesome, Junpei. There's only two left now. You can do it. Yeah, well, the game forced me to do a specific combination. Jeez. Thanks, Zero. Or Santa. Can I thank Santa directly? Alright, let's give it another shot. Maybe I've got something in my files that's telling me what I need to enter. What am I missing? Maybe there's something else still on the screen that I don't look at. J to R. There's no pattern. Okay. Hmm. Must be something I'm missing. Got nothing in my inventory still. So we've looked at this. There's a coffin. It's a metal plaque on the coffin. I didn't suppose I didn't click on the coffin, did I? Snake's touching it. All ice. Ah, the two machines. Ooh. Holy shit. Man, this is serious. Oh well, let's open it, shall we? Clover, if you could give me a hand. Okay, I got it. Ready? Three, two, one. Ha! Uh. No luck. It doesn't seem to be ready to open. Maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, but it's not like it's screwed shut or something. Yes, I believe it's locked in some other way. Hey, Seven. You think you could open it up with your superhuman strength? Uh, no, I... What's wrong? I think I'll just pass on this one, okay? What the heck? Very well. We'll just have to give up on the coffin for now. Let's look around the room a little more, shall we? Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the forest of knowledge, beneath the navel of the gigantic. Is that actually true? The coffin. 
It doesn't have a lock that I can see. There's a metal plaque on it that says all ice. Oops, that was a misclick. All ice. A mouse. Nothing happens when I mess with it, though. A keyboard. Nothing happens when I hit the keys. I got a feeling something will happen if I put the third emblem into the indentation on the desk. That yeah, makes sense to me. What's this? These monitors hang down from the ceiling. Each screen shows a room on the ship. Okay, cool. So this is how he was monitoring us? But he was never here. The card reader. It's his lock. I'm not going to be able to open this door until I find the card that goes into this thing. This thick metal door is blocking our way out. It's locked and I can't get it to open. That's the door we came in through. It's locked. I don't see anything around that looks like it'll unlock it. We probably shouldn't waste our time trying, you know? There are piles of crap everywhere. This is a pretty impressive mess. If we try and search every one of these, we're going to be at it till the cows come home. Well, that doesn't seem too bad. We won't have to go bring them in ourselves, then. Don't you get smart with me, kid. Yeah, you were berating me before, you know. Jeez. Uh, how about we deal with this area later, okay, guys? Maybe we should try something more promising. I don't know, the Morse code doesn't feel very promising right now. <sighs> what am I missing? There's gotta be something I'm overlooking. Ventilation fans. Oh, there's some drawers here. Barely saw that and tucked in the corner. There's a piece of paper in here. Not sure without taking a closer look, but I think it might be a clue. Junpei, we don't need this anymore, do we? No, I don't think so. This is for a puzzle we already solved. Oh, really? That was for that one. There's a whole buttload of drawers in this cabinet. Okay, well, I guess I don't need it anymore. Probably told me which squares I needed to click. Okay. Oh, shit. Back of that huge machine. Clover says she can see Elvis's face on it. She's lying. Drafting table. Looks like it's been used quite a bit. It's just a pile of junk. There's nothing useful here. But there's drawers. Junpei, there's drawers! Um, okay, so we've already opened this. There's nothing in here anymore. So that cabinet's behind this machine. Just like there was a clue behind the other machine. Pipe. It's running into this box over here. Probably keep Alice ventilated. You know, keep her comfortable. Okay, we've got to work out this Morse code. Have you figured out what you're supposed to enter here, Junpei? No, I have not. Hmm? Looks like the word that's supposed to go in here has three letters. It's got three lines, and I think each line is one letter. I see. Well, if that is the case, then perhaps the letters you need are made up of two symbols, four symbols, and one symbol respectively. After all, isn't that what you just said? One line has two spaces, the next four, and the last only a single space. I see. So in other words, I gotta enter either the dots or the dashes. Then a set of two, then a set of four, and then just one. Yes, well, so it would seem. Maybe I'll run through the instructions. Okay, I'm... All right, let's do this. So I only need to do it once, sorry. I thought it transitions to a next screen. So it's two, then four, then one. To make up a word that's made of three letters. Then it's gotta be ice. So let's try that. There you go. I see. It seems you have solved the puzzle, Junpei. Excellent work. Thanks for that clue. The answer was ice. How did you know? All I had to do was listen to the sounds the machine made. After that, it was a trivial matter to decode them. Ah, uh, yes. I believe I heard a noise from somewhere on the right of the device after you solved the puzzle. It sounded rather like something sliding open. Do you see anything that could have made that noise? Yeah, that's true. Ah, uh, yes, one more thing. I heard a sound from behind the shutter. Perhaps the coffin is unlocked now. <gasps> Maybe we just keep that shutter closed? I'm not in the mood to deal with zombies right now. What? Uh, yeah, let's just grab this code emblem. Okay, back. Nope, this one. Okay, let's put in the emblem of the secret code. Damn, this puzzle looks a lot like the last one. 
Looks like the rules are the same, though. Don't you think you should double-check it? Come on. This is the third time I've done this. It'll be fine. So this... Uh... Um... If you can't think of anything clever, please don't strain yourself. You might hurt something. Oh, shut up! Just give me a break, alright? I'll think of something. Ugh. Seven and seven. Running out of balls. Well... <laughs> Let's try 872, then 456. Nope. Not working. Uh, then you get 456, and this one you can get 278. No? Because that's 17, dopey. This is 15. Okay. Maybe I should do some math. Uh, okay. So we need 7, so we need to get 16 times 2. So they were both obviously wrong. <laughs> uh, then 862457. Excellent work, Junpei. You've only got one left. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You can see. Okay. Anyone got a crucifix? Let's open it. I can see through the shutter a little bit. Huzzah! Okay, we're good. Coffin's still closed. All right. Fine, I'll open it. Okay, Junpei, you can do this. It is just a box. It's just a box. Oh, holy shit, this is a coffin. There's going to be something horrible in there. I just know it. Okay. Okay. Deep breaths. Here we go. I knew it. It's an invisible mummy! <laughs> oh man, there's nobody in there. And then there's like a false back and it just topples out. Shit, can't believe I was scared of something like that. What do you mean, nobody? Were you expecting someone to be in there? It's a long story. Besides, we found Snake in the other coffin, didn't we? Ask Junpei about it sometime. Well, just like Seven said, there's nobody in there. There is something in there, though. I can see the emblem. Well, two somethings, actually. What is that? Something else? Oh, key! <gasps> the Neptune key! There are two things on the bottom of the coffin. Looks like we've got a plate with an emblem on it, and... The Neptune key! Yes, we finally found it! Now we can get through the hallway! That's correct, Clover. But we do need to get out of this room first, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here as quickly as possible. I don't have any objections to that. I don't think we'll use the Neptune key in this room. It's really important though, so I'll keep it in my pocket for now. As far as this other thing goes... Coffin emblem. Yep, let's just close that. You know what that means then? The body's somewhere else. It's not in that coffin. Uh, where are we going? Here. Let's see what happens when I put the emblem of the coffin into this indentation. This is the fourth one. This puzzle looks a lot like that last couple. I think this is probably the last one. Once we solve this puzzle, I'm sure something will happen. Alright. I'll solve it in no time. Eight and nine. So we're gonna get eighteen. So eight, seven, four. Nope, that's not gonna work. Back, back, back. Uh, 8, we need to get 17, or 8 itself. There you go. No? Well, I'm checking my math this time, that's 8 plus 7 is 15, plus 2 is 17, 7 plus 1 equals 8, right? <sighs> Fine. Be like that. We, we obviously have to get 17, there's no other way. Uh, five, eight, four, seven, two. No? Why is this game so pedantic about which order I use? Okay, what else then? Um... 
five to no man obviously that's not gonna work why can't it just work like this why does it have to be such a specific number so we've tried five four We have to get 18 then. 874. No. We can't get 18. 12. 9. No? Jeez, I've tried so many different combinations. This game is, is trolling me now. This works, you know. 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 2 is 13, plus 5 is 18, 8 plus 1 equals 9. You're telling me that's not going to open the door? What combination are you looking for? It's not like there's a lot of options. 5, 2, 7. And that? No, I've already done that. So I've tried 8, I've tried getting 17, seven, two, and 8. I've tried this, that doesn't work. Is it the order of the numbers I'm putting it in, or what? Goodness me. Am I missing something? Hang on, let's go back. Damn it, I just don't get this at all. The rules are displayed on the screen. Maybe I should read it again. The screen's showing me the ball puzzle and the instructions for it. When you touch a numbered area, that area will be selected, and it will turn blue to indicate this. Touching a numbered ball after selecting an area will cause that ball to be moved to that area. However, you cannot move the red balls. Yes, I know this. You can only move three to four- oh, three to five balls. So I know. There we go. That's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. Thank you. Completely forgot about that. Oops. I want to do the puzzle again, please. Alright, let's give us another shot. So each one needs to have three. Okay. Well, that's not going to work, is it? We've only got five. I must be missing something, then. This puzzle is impossible to complete. What am I missing? I can't complete this puzzle. How the hell? Okay, let's try it again. See, now I'm just like 4-5. Okay, let's back out for now. Was there something else I could check? Like the tables and stuff? It's just a pile of junk, there's nothing useful here. What about the other table? A pile of junk, we don't have time to go through this. Shit. Side of the machine, the rust makes it feel rough. Hmm. So that already, there's a whole buttload of drawers on this cabinet. Oh. Still added up to the file. Design panel cross puzzle. First draft. Well, that was obvious enough, right? Found digital roots. I know the basics of digital roots. Ah! Oh. All the emblems are indentations. If I want to give the puzzle another shot, then the keyboard needs to be touched. It's kind of a little machine. If I turn it upside down, it looks like a robot with its eyes popped out. Alright, let's give this another shot. Yeah, can't be them both. Can't use these numbers. Oh. 
Jeez, I just don't get this. I give up. Hey, Junpei, I just thought of something. You know the rules on the screen? They never said you gotta put balls in both areas. What do you mean? So if you think about it... Yeah. Yeah. I get it. You don't need to put balls in both areas. There's still numbers left. Fright. Huh? Where did that noise come from? Underneath the keyboard? Way to go, Junpei! Thanks, Clover. Completely didn't think of that at all. It says there needs to be three to five, and that's what kind of tripped me up. Way to go, Junpei. You answered all the questions. Damn, Junpei. Good job. Hey, did you hear something just now? Yes, I heard that as well. From the bottom left corner of the desk, I believe. Oh, it's a photo. A picture. Of the Cradle Pharmaceuticals employees. What the? There we go. The ninth man. Yes, it definitely is. And there's Ace's face. What the hell is this? And that's the captain. And that has to be Guy X. But what the hell was Guy X doing here? And what was this guy doing here? This man with a mustache on the right. We never saw them actively participate, did we? He's the same guy we found murdered in the captain's quarters. Yeah. He had the zero bracelet on his left arm. Were they playing as well, but they never met up with us. And the second man? With the glasses and a doctor's coat. He's the ninth man. The one with bracelet number nine. He died after he went into door five. But this guy? The one in the striped suit? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That's Ace. Yeah, I guess it is. No doubt about it. But... What does it mean? What is Ace doing in this picture? He's the CEO. Oh, poor Junpei doesn't know in this flow, but we do. Not only Ace, the ninth man and Cap, too. And they look happy, like they knew each other well. Why? How? And yet he betrayed the ninth man. How in the world are these four men connected? You say Ace is in that picture? Yeah, it doesn't look like it was taken recently, though. Ace, the Ninth Man, and Cap all look about ten years younger. Hmm. Ah, so the Ninth Man and the man you found murdered in the Captain's quarters are also in the picture? Yeah. Yeah. Is there anyone else? Or are there only three people in the picture? I'm afraid I can't see it. No, there's one more. No, there's one more guy. He's got kind of long hair, he looks smart, but a little cold. He's the only one I don't recognize. Hmm. hmm. What's the date of the photograph? It doesn't have one. Did you look on the back? The back? Yes, the reverse. The other side. Yeah, people usually write notes on the back of photos. Huh. Like these. Praying for the success of the Nonary Project. The, like, day one. Nonary Project. The team. With Nijisaki, Kubota, and Musashido. Huh. Those names. Then the four men in this picture were the organizers of the Nonary game nine years ago. It didn't name Hongo, though. That means Ace, the Ninth Man, and Cap were all responsible for making it happen. But... I feel like I should be more shocked about this. Mm. It's almost as if that's just how things were always supposed to be. Why? Why am I not surprised? Because you do know. It's in the morphogenetic field. Ace was the one in charge of the Nonary project. But... then why? Why am I so calm? It's like I already knew. This is so cool. Ah, Things are heating up. Of course. Up. I understand now. Ace was the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. He was the one who invented the game nine years ago. He was Gintaro Hongo. Ace is... Hongo? I had my suspicions from the beginning. Their voices were similar. Too similar to be a coincidence. Mm -hmm. I could never forget his voice. It was the voice of the devil. You didn't say anything, though? I couldn't be sure, though. Fair enough. Might incite some unwanted aggression. After all, I had no way to check. I certainly couldn't ask him. Even if I had known, however, I would never have told you. Right. Fearful for Clover's life as well. Zero made it quite clear what would have happened if I did. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. Huh? And yet I did. I didn't know that Ace was Hongo. Oh, yes. 
I suppose you wouldn't have. You were in a different location. Nine years ago, you were in Building Q in Nevada. But Hongo was in the Gigantic with us. I know. That's why I didn't know what Hongo looked like. But why? Why didn't you tell me? I mean, I'm your sister, right? You could have told me. You might have counted as someone that he could talk to and that would get your life in a bit of an explosive end. I'm sorry. I apologize for keeping this from you. But if I'd told you, Clover, you would have told everyone else. <laughs> Jeez. And if you did, then I would have been forced to tell them about what happened nine years ago. I had to prevent that. Uh. Hey, Junpei. You think I could borrow that picture for a sec? Sure, what are you gonna do it? Sure. Hmm. Hongo Kubota Nijisaki Musashido. Were you investigating these guys? Hongo Kubota Nijisaki Musashido. Remember the names? Oh, because you have amnesia. Is this gonna trigger your memory, maybe? Hongo Kubota Nijisaki Musashido. Hey, Seven, do you... Shut it! Just... just be quiet. Let him think, let him think. I'm this close to remembering. There we go. This close. Hongo Kubota Nijisaki Musashiro. Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Nonary Project. <gasps> mm. Shit. What? What? What's wrong? Holy shit, this is nuts. What? Um, what's nuts? I remember... Everything. Remember what? Everything! Yeah, I knew he was gonna say it.